Have you ever had a real estate marketing campaign fail? Well, here are five common reasons that most real estate marketing campaigns don't work. In this video, I'm going to explain what they are and how you can avoid making these mistakes on your next marketing campaign. Hi, I'm Charles Curry with Smart Agents, and we help agents get more listings with powerful listing strategies that actually work. And I've actually launched over a hundred different marketing campaigns and I've seen what works and what fails. Now recently I was thinking about all of the campaigns that we've launched that have failed and here are the most common reasons that they fail. The number one reason that real estate marketing campaigns fail is because they're trying to sell too many things. We used to run marketing that would tell people that we could help them buy, we could help them sell, we could help them invest, we could help them flip, etc, etc. And those campaigns flopped because they were just trying to sell too many things. So if you want your marketing campaigns to be successful, you want them to be as clear and direct as you possibly can. So if you're marketing to expireds, you want to have just one offer. For example, you could say something to an expired along the lines of, can I meet with you to discuss some marketing ideas for your home that could help you attract more buyers and get it sold? And all you're selling is a free, no obligation consultation. Yes, it is a listing appointment, but you genuinely wanna meet with them, look at their property, look at their prior marketing, and determine what can be done differently to get more buyers interested in their property and get it sold. And by the way, we've done that with hundreds of expireds. We've got more buyers interested and we got the property sold. All right, now let's continue on to reason number two that real estate marketing campaigns fail. And this is because they don't have a call to action, okay? You see, most marketing, they've got the agent's phone number, their email, social media, their birthday, their favorite color, you know, too much information. It's too complicated. You need to have one simple call to action. Because if people wanna contact contact you, they can. They can Google you. They can easily find your contact information with a quick search. So don't do that. You do want to have it on there, but here's what I recommend you do. What happens when someone pulls up their email to email you? They're going to get distracted by all the other emails in their inbox and they might even forget what they were trying to do in the first place. Now, what happens if they open their Instagram and they search for you? Instagram puts the most interesting and crazy videos right there in the search box. So they're immediately going to be distracted by that one crazy video and forget all about you. By the time they're done watching it, they don't even know who you are anymore, okay? Do you think they're still going to try and contact you? Nope, which is why you want to do this. You want to send them to one simple website or have them call you. Don't waste your marketing dollars promoting Instagram's distractions. So here's the simple way to get more appointments. First, offer something for free that has a benefit. For example, you could offer them a free book or a free report on how to sell their home for top dollar. And then tell them one specific URL to go to to get that free book or that free report. And as soon as they fill out the form, you can direct them to a calendar page to schedule an appointment with you. And don't worry about the people who just want to hire you. Many of them will skip the form and simply call you right up instead. In fact, about half of our real estate leads just straight up pick up the phone, call us, and talk to us. The free report did such a great job at positioning us as an expert that many people simply skipped the request and the page and they just went and called us and hired us right away. So put your phone number under your name on your marketing, but put it there almost kind of as an afterthought. Now, does that make sense to you? So let's continue. And the number three reason that real estate marketing campaigns fail is because they don't have a strong differentiator. You see, most marketing says something like, I'll work hard for you, or I have the best service, you know, something like that. And what does most of your competitors' marketing say? Probably something like that. It all says the same thing. I've got the best service. I'll work hard for you. I'm the best agent, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera you've got to do something different to stand out. So if you're marketing to sellers, talk about how you'll sell their home for top dollar fast, okay? If you're marketing to buyers, 
Talk about how you're going to help them find their dream home and you're going to negotiate the best price for them. If you're marketing to expireds, talk about how you specialize in selling homes that other agents failed to sell. You have to tailor your differentiator to each specific customer and their desires and their needs. Or find the one target market that you excel at and focus on marketing to them. If you absolutely love working with first time home buyers, then focus on that. You can say, I am a first time home buyer specialist. If you love selling historic homes, focus on that. You can say, I'm a historic home specialist. Does that make sense? Now let's continue on to the number four reason that real estate marketing campaigns fail. And that's because they're not focused on leads that are in the market. You see, I see so many people mail out postcards trying to farm a neighborhood or they leave door hangers on my door with free candy. And personally, I love the free candy, but I'm not gonna be selling my home anytime soon. So that marketing simply takes too long to work. And we've all got pills that we've got to pay today. So what I recommend you do is focus on people who are in the market today. Fizbos, expireds, inherited homes, divorcing homeowners, landlords who just filed an eviction, people who are behind on their property taxes, pre-foreclosures, and people who own a vacant home. These people are in the market and have a high chance of listing soon. And even better, you can put together a customized marketing plan that talks specifically to them, differentiates you from your competition, and has a strong offer and a specific call to action. So focus your marketing on the people that are in the market. And last but not least, the number five reason that real estate marketing campaigns fail is because they are not improved, okay? And this one is really, really, really important and probably one of the most difficult ones to get right. So let's take our expired campaign as an example. When we first started mailing this thing out, when we first started sending this, it barely worked. And most of the time, if something isn't a huge home run, we're like, ah, throw that thing out, right? Now, when we first rolled out our expired campaign, we didn't get a great response and we stopped using it. But then we discovered how to up-level our marketing and to improve it, how to make the graphics better, the headlines better. And we continued tweaking and improving it and now today it works great. And we have a winner because we took something that worked just all right and we improved the heck out of it, okay? So if you've got any marketing campaigns that work okay, then work on improving them, all right? right? Now, would you guys like to get even more tips for getting listings? Well, I have a free guide titled 27 Ways to Get Listings. Look in the description of this video. You're going to find a link to it there. I highly recommend that you go down there right now and check it out so that you can set yourself out for even more listings in the future.